Good morning, Forex family. Running a little late this morning. Took some trades and forgot about the time. This is Sydney Guajardo coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas, and we are the Trading Places. Okay, so um, did pretty decent this morning. This is Aussie dollar. Um, some retracement right now, but took these little boogers. Took two trades here. And we did all right. Let's see if we can find some more. I'm gonna have to check on these trades here. It's uh, <laughs> it's hard running just one account. I got three, three accounts. Very good brokers: Hugo's Way, uh, Luca Four. Luke Roar and um, I'm auditioning for Fitmo. So, anyway, let's take a look here. All right. Let's look at gold. Gold took it on the chin. It's still going. Look at that. That's where I made all that money this morning. But uh, anyway, looks like it hopefully comes to rebound. Um, yeah, I'll put it there. Okay, let's see where we are. Right here. That's our timestamp. Well, oh, wrong one. Okay, well, it looks like it's kind of going in this downtrend. I don't like um, getting indicators involved using um, gold or US 30. I just like to scalp those. But it looks like it's going to go short. And US 30 is doing really well. Well, this morning it was. But let me erase this stuff here. This is where we're at there. Okay. All right, let's go to US 30. Took off very nicely. If you want to take that long, I, I probably would. Just be careful. Today is Friday. June the 5th, and um, market closes early today. Looks like we're doing better here. It's crazy how the different lot sizes, the different sizes of accounts. There's a, um, if anybody knows any trade copy, I've never used one before. I've only managed one account. I've managed a couple at a time, but it's never, you know, clicking back and forth. But I'm kind of tired of that. I'd like to get at the same entrance in all three accounts. It's hard to manage. So drop me a line. Sorry about that, I had a cough. Uh, yeah, drop me a line. If anybody knows of any good trade copiers. But anyway, let's... Um, we're almost in the money. Good. All right, so US 30 did great. Go long. Dollar, your dollar. Looks like it's... Um, wait for volume and it's sure to drop. So that was a good, a good choice. If you looked at our indicators, you definitely would have got some money there. Uh, let's go over here. Let's erase some of this stuff. That King Solomon was on fire this morning. All right, let's put our timestamp, get it started. And a horizontal array, where is it going? We got this short trend here. It just came out of consolidation. Just beware, that could uh, turn around. I 
me see. So just um, look for signal. Very, very close to being in the money. Maybe we'll just hang out here until we get there. Where's the money on this one? All right, here we go. Since it's been uh, moving, I'm definitely going to stay here. It got down pretty low. It was in retracement, so maybe it's losing strength. I don't know what's happened, but it's definitely on a very strong upward trend. But it's a slow mover, so I'm just gonna This one's in profit too, right? Yep. And this one as well. Just sit here and wait for it. So I've been in this trade for 30 minutes. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> I gotta get 10 pips out of this thing. It's gotta go to about 9.43. See how the entrance, 8.41. It just, I, I wanna get a trade copy here. I want these all to match. Well, heck, I liked it the other way. Maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Jeez, come on, 4X. All right, just go to the next trade. It'll come back. All right, so look for signal. Be cautious when you're moving short. This could be like a head fake and come back up. So let's go to dollar yen. Vertical line right there. Got to see where we are, right? Right there. Definitely on a upward trend for sure. But I'm not going to put that there. What I'm going to do is put our trend finder from down here. So that shows kind of penetrated here. It may shoot back up. Who knows, it's getting rid of, it passed this resistance line, so a new set of Fibonacci should be coming out, uh, new percentages at least. So, I'm going to call this, oh yeah. So I'm just going to call this long if indicator stay, right? Looks like a pretty decent trade right there. 
I'm liking it. If King Solomon likes it, I love it. Euro yen. I've looked at these trades already. Let's um I'm an Aussie dollar right now. So let's let's close out these trades. And what we'll do is um we'll do some scalp training. Ready the money in dollar yen. I just don't want three pips. Boy, this, 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 uh, oh, this old, um, Aussie dollar. I'm gonna get out of these two. Let's come over here. It's pretty decent trades today. <clears throat> so we're still in uh, dollar yen. Still in Aussie dollar here. Are we? Do we close these over here? Yep. I'm gonna wait till I get to 10 pips on this one. Should be pretty close. Come on, dude, give me some 10 pips. Six thirteen, we're almost there. Get over that seven hundred, sir. Come on, we're all behind you. Need some support. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's go. Let's come over here. I'm going to close this little booger out over here as well. We're closed, closed, and one more, sir. I want to close these out before we go scalping. Just give me a minute here. Don't be doing that. Come on. <laughs> I like the other one better. They're both retracing. I'm going to get out of both of them. All right. So come over here and. It'll give you, a, if you refresh it, 
I, I suggest everybody that um, that does any type of trading go on uh, FX book and it'll look at it 500 pips today and that's something unbelievable um, FX book it just tells you about every single account that you have like for instance this one this is on um, my auditioning for Fitmo and I did one point I did a thousand pips today I guess <laughs> yeah 1143 pips not bad my account grew to 397 for the week so I'm just under 4% they said they want that's all they want me to do get 10 percent a month and we're on our way there we're halfway there almost so you come over here this one's 219 this one is look at this one here is a, a little account little growth but i'm under leveraged i think it's a five million dollar account and i'm only at 100 lot size i think that should be closer to 200 and then we have this one here This one's huge. That's a, it's a small account, but big gains. You know, I retraced a little bit here. Look what it did. I mean, but anyway, so that's how this works. And this is public that, that you can document it. It shows everything. It's awesome. So once you get good at trading, uh, use that. So let's come over to Sierra charts and let's go to the Rochelle. So. What am I do? So you could tell no matter what chart you look at, this is going long. There's no doubt about it. Nothing can nobody can give you a different opinion. This sucker is going long. Okay. We need to look at US 30. Wrong one, dude. All right. Mining trades? Oh, no. And no. Okay, good. Let me just close these out. I'm done for the day. I'm usually done about 11, so we did good. Okay, so first, on the on when you're getting ready to scalp, I, I suggest you only scalp one, two at a time, max. Okay, just like the other pair we're on, you need to find out where the trend is. Okay, this way it's going long. There is no doubt. Nobody can give you a different opinion. It is going long. That is all there is to it. Okay, the other one is gold. This one, it could be in retracement, but immediately you could tell that this thing is going short. Okay, so now you come over, let me put this over here. Now, let's go back to US 30. These are called ropes, money ropes. That's what trading places calls them. Um, there's probably a technical term for them somewhere, but I want to call them ropes. All right. So that's what we'll call them. This right here, this little ticker tape is called a vessel. That's what we call them. That's, that's all. That's, that's how we explain it. Those are layman's terms. That's what we're doing. So do you agree with me that if this is a vessel or a car and this is a rope, the further this goes in this direction, the rope is probably going to follow, right? Same thing with here, here, here. These are indicators. That's an indicator. That's an indicator. That's an indicator. These three colors are indicators and the ropes are indicators. There's nine indicators here and then 10. There's 10 different ways to verify entrance. Okay, so if this vessel keeps pulling up the rope, eventually 
this rope here on all three screens is going to turn yellow. The other color change is the, the, the background screen. R when it's dark, a dark gray, that means it's going down. When it's a light gray screen, that means it's going up. So the more this vessel is pulling up the rope, that means there's pressure for it to go long. It will start to, when there's enough pressure, you'll see that the vessel, it keeps pulling up this rope. First one you'll see is either the screen or the rope turn the opposite color. Like if it's going up, it's going to be yellow and light gray. There's an immense amount of pressure for this to go yellow and light gray. And it's easier to do this strategy when the trend is in the same direction that you're going. This is long and this is going up, same thing, which also means buy. So this is the buy direction. The vessel going up is the buy direction. All this and the, the light gray is also the buy direction, okay? So right now, um, it, it's, it's definitely going in the, in the buy direction, but it maybe hasn't gotten to the point where there's enough pressure for everything else to turn yellow or light gray. So let's watch. And that's the same thing with gold. You see, it's, they're all yellow and they're all light gray, but look at the, the vessel. It's trying to come down. It's very hard to scalp when you're trying to, to buy a trade pair and the general direction is short. Does it happen? Yes, it's called retracement. But what ends up happening is you don't build up enough steam to make any money because the general direction is down and you're trying to go up. It's trying to... Now, unless this changes directions, like the next candle is going north, which could happen, it, it, it's very hard to do that. So, now this, this, I mean, it has a lot of strength. If this thing, if there's some good news or the Dow, you know, goes short, the gold nor normally goes up, this could turn into a yellow candle. So, but it's very hard. In other words, if you're going to go on a short call and take, a, and take it long on a scalp, that's kind of like throwing water uphill and expect it to keep going. It may have a lot of energy to go up for a little bit, but it's going to come back down. Let's see how US 30 is doing. Still, okay, here, the gray screen just came out. So there's a little pressure for it to go up. Now, here's what, I'm, here's what I want to do. The way the, the vessel is above the rope is the way we want it. Okay, see, it's not working. The next thing that's going to happen is that your rope is going to turn yellow, or at least one dot will. And the more dots you have together, the more pressure you have, and then this one will turn. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, it's, it's very, something is, uh, it's just not moving. But the bottom line is, when we do this, we want the vessel, on, this is considered, if you're taking it long, you want the vessel above the rope on all three indicators. You want the rope to be going in the right direction, which is up. You want the screens all to be light gray, and you want the rope to be yellow. And the last one to do it is the bottom one. When the bottom one happens, take the trade. As soon as you get in profit, get out. Let me see here. Yeah, this US 30 is just not having doesn't have enough strength to get up over the where we need it to go long. If you would have taken that trade, even though there's a yellow candle up there, you'd be losing some money. Let's look at gold. You see that? 
It's going down. It's coming back in this direction. Okay, let's let's look at this. It's below it. It's below it here. The screen should be turning. Oh, look at this. It wants to kind of go back up. There it goes. It goes, it goes again. So here's red. This should be a light gray screen. The vessel should be here. This one looks like it's going to be a trade here pretty soon. So we need this to stay dark. We need this to turn red. Same thing for here. Take the trade when it's done. Mm-hmm. It's not behaving. Gold is a slippery fish. But that's basically how you use these indicators. The agreement. You want the vessel under the rope on all three screens. You want the direction of the rope to be going the same way. You want all three screens to be the same color. And you want the rope to be the same color. And that usually happens when this indicator here at the bottom when it agrees with the other two. When it does, take the trade. It's going to work and get out as soon as you have profit. Okay. All right, guys, this has been a wonderful training. We went over a few trade pairs, showed you um, FX book. It does take a little bit of time uh, to install. The FX book um, tracking system, but I'd suggest before you go live, I would go a couple of weeks on FX book because it puts just a little more pressure on you to be pristine on your trades. It gets you away from, oh, screw it, I'll just take this trade, it's a demo. It's totally different when you're trading real money. And this will get to you as this FX book will get you as close as possible um, before you start trading live money. It's totally different, guys, unless you've had jobs before where you're in an immense amount of pressure. Um, I'd suggest that you, you do this before you go live, at least for a couple of weeks, okay? But anyway, today is Friday. The market closes early. Uh, the volume drops off. I would not be in a trade past 11 or 12. Close everything out. All right, guys? So, with that being said, um, I hope everybody has a badass weekend. Sunday's going to be a fantastic day for Forex. Uh, this year is going to be fantastic. It's not going to be a normal summer. There's going to be a lot of volatility in the market. We are absolutely going to smash Forex this year. With my help, I will see you at the top. So as, as current, current events, we are in a pretty bad shape right now socially. Everybody's hating on each other. So next time you see somebody, a stranger, smile at them. Say, how you doing? Smile everywhere you go. You're going to find that everybody's going to look at you kind of weird. Like, man, what's, this, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> Just be nice. And always remember the way I feel. We were put on this planet so we can help people that can't help themselves. But I want to add to that. There's people that can't help themselves that don't want to help themselves. So only help people that want to help themselves. Don't do it for them. Anyway, so from San Antonio, Texas, my name is Sidney Guajardo, and we are The Trading Places. Good trading, guys. Bye-bye.